open right up. The start of all this madness. Now this is whenever the tournament gets really, really close. It's gonna be super sick. A lot of good races yet to come. And speaking of great runners, right, we got welcome everybody. Racers to the going to second round in the Kalinka Cup for Mega Man Four. We got racers going first to. Round, we got great John. Great John Carter is going Feral first. Whereas Carter is going Bright first. That's pretty awesome. So I had a little bit of feedback there in my headset, it sounded like, but we got this going on. Great John making that Pharaoh jump look easy. <laughs> Good job. Oh, that's what it was. He had to, okay. Okay, I think we're good now. All right, so the, the, it sounded like Great John had the uh, stream audio on, so it was uh, kind of interfering. I kept hearing my voice in my headset. <laughs> but now we got it squared away. Now we're using Carter's, uh, it's like we're going to use Carter's audio for now. So anyway, back to uh, back to things going here. These guys are making their way through Pharaoh and Bright, respectively. It's going to be awesome to see Great John if he's going to use the, some balloon uh, jumps and Pharaoh are Bright. Or if he's gonna just use the Pharaoh shot on them totem pulls, it'll be interesting to see how he negotiates Bright Man. I think he'll just, you know, play it safe and use the Pharaoh shot on them totals. Oh no, Carter Freak with a death on that platform. That small little platform is tight. It's only about, you know, a couple frame, you know, a couple pixels deep, you know, and you gotta be quick on that jump out of your slide. Now he's got to start all the way back at the checkpoint. That's a long way back with these grasshopper RNGs and stuff like that. It's just a bad bad time loss, but I'm sure he can make it up. He's a really good runner, so I'm sure he'll get back in this in no time. Well, Great John's killing Pharaoh. Pharaoh's got a couple different things he can do. At you. He can just stand there and shoot his little sand balls in your face, or he can jump around like crazy or just jump to your position. Great John got a pretty decent pattern. Killed him right in the middle, so not too bad. It's just slightly off pixel, so he didn't get that extra frame save, but he still made it out. It's not gonna uh, lose a lot of time if you don't get that pixel, but it adds up. So you wanna make sure you get that pixel. You want Carter going into his Bright Man fight. Bright Man's fight is unique where uh, he will flash you at 16, eight and health. 8 and 4 health value, so you want to offset that with one lemon shot right there at the beginning, preferably with your third or fourth shot you want it to be a lemon, and then the rest of them just full charge shots. The, the only tricky part is you really got to make sure you're getting a full charge shot, because if you don't, you can uh, he can uh, you can be off your values a little bit, So and he'll flash you. So. That was a good fight by Carter, right there, got that pixel, nice job. That's going to save him a little bit of time. Great John making his way through the first couple of screens here in Bright. Now this next screen, not this one, but the next screen coming up, it'll be interesting to see what he chooses to do. Whether or not he's going to use balloons or go to Pharaoh. He might even just stay at, at Buster until a little bit later, so let's see. Looks like he's going to stay at Buster. That's not a bad idea. Now the Buster shot on these totem poles does eight dent. Like, you got to shoot him eight times. But whereas the Pharaoh shot, he only need to shoot him three times. So, you know, play, do it how you want to do it. Eight shots, if you're good at mashing, you can get those eight shots faster than you can in those three uh, Pharaoh shots, so. Uh, now he's gonna change the Pharaoh right up here, I'm sure. Okay. He's just gonna go for Buster all the way. Man, that's, that's, that's a good move. Good move, my great John. Good move to keep it safe, keep it steady, keep it consistent. Very nicely done. Car Freak making his way through these podiums here, these moving podiums. Now, you can trick these podiums not to shoot those little balls out the side of their heads if you have uh, the right position and then slide to right at the right time. You can trick them to where they won't cause that extra lag on screen. 
Now here's a unique thing with uh, Great John. You see that big charge above his head and he lets Brightman run into it. He still retains a full charge shot if he holds the B button. So you kind of get two for the price of one there and he makes a really good job of Brightman. Gets that center pixel. Moving on. And Carter, it looked like Carter made up a lot of time there too because, you know, he got that... He had a really good stage, so it looks like he's he's uh, caught up. He's only about a boss fight behind now. Now here's where we get to see a little bit of balloon action in Ringman Vertical. He's going to use these balloons to get up these few screens here really quickly. It's a very good strat. Oh wow, he's going to use bright strats. Nice. That's that's taking him back to them consistent strats, man. These. Great John's just got a really good route to where he's just consistently safe and just, just he knows that's what works. He knows it's going to be good. He's know he's not going to have a lot of issues. So it's very smart on his part. Yeah, really nice, Cheryl, right? Just, just sit there and took it like a champ. <laughs> yeah, that's... Nice little hippo there. Got a got a good mash on that hippo uh, podium, so he was able to make through it really quickly. Let's see if Carter Freak uses balloons here. Yeah, he is. Here we go. Difference in strats right off the gate. So using balloons here, he's probably going to close the gap between the lead just by a little bit because these balloons will. Oh yeah, especially now, Great John's having a little bit of problems with this Slinky mini boss. That's going to open the door for Carter to just. Hurry up and catch up a little bit. Now we see we're uh, a hippo apart now. It's almost synced up, but they're on two different hippos. <laughs> that was awesome. Now this uh, screen Great John's on his checkpoint screen here is really tricky. If you don't have good movement, you can mess up and fall straight through those disappearing platforms. So you got to really be careful. He's doing a really good job of keeping it safe. Carter's just going to town on this stage. He's doing a really good job. Got that back D-boost. I love doing that back D-boost, man. It's super swag. I love it. It's a pretty tight trick to learn, but once you learn it, man, you get it. You can get it pretty consistently. It's nice. Ooh, Carter's got to be careful here. Here we go. Makes it through. Now ring man fight. Great John here is going to play a good, nice, safe ring fight. Because Ring Man, he does the same thing over and over again. Oh no, he got tagged by a ring shot. Oh no. That Ring Boomerang Man will sneak up and grab you. Well, now we're, we close the gap. So Great John's going to have to do some buster strats here because he's out of Pharaoh. Meanwhile, Carter got two HP. Kind of had to be careful. Oh, no, he gets run through. Oh, man, Carter. Whew. This is a, this is getting interesting, boys. <laughs> I think Carter has enough Pharaoh to do it. one more fight in him. I think he's got enough here. Ringman is one of those bosses. Oh, no, great, Johnny. He had one, he had one HP left. No. Oh, no. Great, John. Oh, that hurts. I feel for you, brother. I feel for you. Carter Freak making it through Ringman with a nice fight there second time around. That's a good job. Now, Ringman, like I was saying, he's he's pretty well scripted. There's no RG to him. He does the same thing over and over again. But, man, he can wreck you in a heartbeat if you're not used to doing some of these buster strats. Yeah, it looks like he's not getting his jumps, double jumps over that ring fast enough. He's got to be careful here. Man, there you go. He got him that time. Woo! That was making me sweat. Great job. Wow. Looks like Carter Freak with a missed menu goes to Skull Man before Dust Man. Looks like he went to try to just take an early death on the... Yeah, that's what he's doing. He's trying to smash... Get up on that balloon and smash himself up against the ceiling there. Gets a nice, real quick game over. So he can come back and get in dust. That, oh, yeah, that's really smart, really smart gameplay right there. Now we're back even. Man, this is just so crazy, man. <laughs> this, this race is just so back and forth right now. It's nuts. That's That was a really good call by Carter to kind of break out those balloons and, and take a death right there.
Great John using some bright strats here in dust. Meanwhile, Carter doing some... Oh, man! Carter doing some feral strats and just took a death in the pit. Man, those those feral strats are so difficult. They're so tricky to get right. But once you get them, it can save a lot of a lot of time on your dust man, dust man splits. But meanwhile, Great John using the flash stopper here to the best of his ability, making this screen right here just as easy as possible. And that's what I love about flash stopper is you can flash the screen and while you're sliding that global countdown, don't count down so you can literally make that flash last the whole screen. Carter did a really good job of playing it safe, making it through. Or not Carter, Great Johnny. Excuse me. Carter is on the lag screen right now, getting a lot of lag because of these ladybugs, but also playing a little bit more safer than what I think he would normally do. Man, this Kalinka Cup's on fire right now. These crushers, man, you gotta be careful with these crushers, but both players went, uh, Great John went through it really good. It looks like Carter's got a good setup here. He's gonna have to take the not so fast crushers, I like to call them. It means you didn't quite get the fast setup, but you got the second best fast setup. <laughs> this makes it through pretty good. Great John coming in a Dustman fight. Dustman sucks, literally and figuratively. He can ruin a run in a heartbeat with all his suck patterns. You can stop him from sucking if you take a body shot like Great John just did, but it takes a lot of damage, like 8 HP each time, so you can only do it about maybe 2-3 times. If you're lucky, you can do it three times. Carter right behind him with his Dustman fight. Took that D-boost there to stop him from sucking. Both had really good Dustman fights, only one suck each, so that's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right, now now we're gonna go into Skullman's fight now, or Skullman's stage now, and this is where you'll see the the one and only Zip that's used in this run. Uh, you, you'll take your balloons, set it up and take iframes to cut you through this wall because in Mega Man 4 the only way you can do a zip is if you have iframes because uh, you know this game was like hey you know what if you're in a wall you know you're not supposed to be there so <laughs> you'll die instantly if you're caught in the middle of a wall and you don't have iframes so you gotta make sure your iframes are set up here now if that balloon is too high or you jump too late, you can get smashed up in that ceiling. Or if you jump too early, I mean, sorry, you can get smashed, kind of like we saw Carter do earlier to take that game over. So you gotta be careful with your balloon placements, but if you do it right, this stage could go really quickly with balloons. Great John switching to Bright. Now he's gonna do some flash stopper in this uh, checkpoint screen and on. Meanwhile, Carter's just making up a lot of ground with that them balloon strats. You want to use the balloon strats at the very beginning of this stage because it's, like you see, you can just make up a lot of ground. Great John, whereas Great John used a lot of buster and flash stopper strats. So it kind of slowed him down a little bit. The only time you want to really switch to flash stopper and skull is in the checkpoint room like Carter just did. Really optimize the stage a lot faster, but still be safe, you know? Both doing really good job still. Great job going into his Skull Man fight. Meanwhile, Carter's just right behind him in the in the next room over. Takes that D boost off that last skeleton Joe there. That's good. Still got plenty of health there. Shouldn't have too much of an issue with Skull. Skull really, you know, he he reacts based on what you do. Because if you just stand there, Skull Man will just stand there too. You start off with a shot. He's gonna start shooting. You jump, he's gonna jump. There you go. Carter gets him down. Great John gets him down. Now we're neck and neck again. Only a couple seconds behind each other. That's really good. What a great way to start this second round match in a Kalinka Cup, man. Both runners, you can tell that, you know, they've had a few miss ups, but they were able to back up with some different strats and kind of get right back in this, you know. It's been back and forth, back and forth already. It's really exciting. Dive Man stage coming up at you. We're gonna use Flash Stopper here pretty much for the whole stage. But you gotta be careful because you don't wanna use too much Flash Stopper because like I said, we gotta use it the entire stage. 
and a couple of screens are crucial for flash stopper. And those screens are the whale screens. You want to make sure you have enough flash stopper for the whale screen so you can freeze them in place and mash the hell out of them. Just like Great John's doing here. Good job. Carter's doing a really good job coming into the whale room. Man, they're just one screen apart now. That's really good job. These guys are really close. Car gotta be careful. Didn't want to land on the spikes. That's that's one of these things about this stage is spikes are everywhere, man, and you can really you can really take your chances and do some neat little movement, but you've got to remember when you're underwater, you can't jump out of your slides. So you gotta do some slide cancels or you just gotta play it safe and do a little bit of walking. Either way, you don't wanna land on some spikes and you don't wanna be too little health either. Great, great John, so I'm a little worried about Great John's health values, but he might be all right. Well, Carter making his way to the second. Now that pit right there, Great John just jumped over, and, and Carter's getting ready to jump over is where Wire is. Now you, oh no, Great John! Oh man, Great John just walked straight into the spikes. Oh, that will ruin his weekend. Now he's he's gonna have to be quick with this whale because he doesn't have any flash stopper to freeze the second whale. Now he's gonna have to do it man old-fashioned way, casual strats. Meanwhile, Carter Free going into the dive man fight took back the lead. Seven easy skull man shot or skull shield shots takes down dive man no problems. Now this little center pixel here, if you can get this center pixel in this jump, you can save a pretty good amount of time. But he was just slightly off. It looked like he was just slightly off the middle pixel, so he's not gonna save a lot of time. There. But man, this is this is close. Look, Great John's going into this fight with two HP. Now if it's done correctly, you can survive this fight with two HP. But you gotta really be careful. No mistakes, none. Oh, you gotta be careful here. Whoa! <laughs> there we go, got him. Nice. Okay. Carter Freak making his way in through Drill Man. You're gonna use a lot of Flash Stopper again here in Drill Man stage. Really gotta optimize those slides because you can make this Flash Stopper go in long distances on these screens here, which you're gonna see a later, little later. Carter just jumping on some spikes also. That's gonna bring it back to back to about even now. We're about ten seconds away from each other again. See, that's why that's what happens, man. You, you know, you, you got to be careful in, in drill man stage because if you're not paying attention, you don't have good movement. You can land on them spikes. It's very easy to do in drill man stage. A lot easier, I think, in, in some rather than some other stages. I've died in that bat room so many stinking times. <laughs> oh no, Carter! Ah, oh, Carter Freak just jumping on some uh, spikes again. It looked like he didn't get all of his jump there. Gonna have to take a game over. That's gonna set him back a little bit, but... Great John making his ways. Let's see if he can... There you go. Great John made it through that room. Now Carter's just having some problem with that bat room spikes, man. Gotta shake it off and get back to it. But we're still relatively close. Great John coming up to his turn fight. Now there's one little section. Yeah, if you freeze just right, you can freeze these turns without shooting them little bullets. But he got the bullet pattern, so he's going to have to take a D-boost. Get up on the ladder the, the long way. But makes it to the checkpoint room. That's one thing about Drill Man. This checkpoint room is close to the end. So if you take a death right before the checkpoint room, it's a long way back. You can make this screen last a good long ways too with proper movement. You can really tell the skill of a runner by how many times they flash the screen. Usually it's only it only takes about two flashes. Most people just do two flashes, but sometimes you can get some good slide movement, make it only one flash. I think he tried to slide but wasn't holding down. That's a good possibility. It looked like that was probably what he was trying to do because it was a kind of a short jump. Usually if you're holding down and you jump out of your slide, it's a bigger jump. But if you you didn't really, you didn't slide, you didn't press the down input, and you went to jump, it just is like a phantom little movement there. 
sometimes you you know you're you're so used to doing it a certain way and then it just messes up and you don't even realize you messed up until you're dead. I've done it several times. You're like, oh crap, you know. <laughs> Looks like Drill Man dove what two or two times on Great John. Carter's gonna have to be really quick. Oh man, he's got one HP and a lot of drill health left. Gonna have to be really careful here. Oh, dropping down twice on Carter. He's a better move. Oh man, I thought he was dead. Okay, one HP apiece. This is the last shot, winner takes all right here. Oh, there we go. <laughs> man, Carter giving me the heart attack, dude. Giving me a heart attack, yeah. Sweaty snowman. Woo! That was close. Yeah, Wow was right. Uh, wow was right. That was really clutch. Good job. And we're still about 10 seconds apart from each other, maybe even 15 seconds. But it's so freaking close. And going into Toad Man stage, this rain and wind in this first screen can really ruin your day. It can push you back if you don't trust your slides far past these platforms. It can push you back into a pit. And that's the last thing you want to do is take a death in Toad Man stage when you're so close to casting stages, you know? Last robot master there is. So this underwater rules are in effect with these waterfalls here. You got about four pixels where you can mess around. If you mess around, you can end up in one of these pits. Because that water will push you forward or push you the opposite direction. You got to really be careful. I like to take it a little bit safer in that section because it's just so dangerous. You can really make... You can make one little small mess up, or you can get a small ammo drop from these rats, and it just plummets you straight down. So you gotta be careful. No, great John getting the snails uh, cuts, man. He freezes, freezes the screen right as he's dropping in, so with, that way it freezes that snail dropping in, and he can kind of take a deep boost off of his hitbox and scroll, slide right on through there. It's a nice little trick in Toe Man's stage, man. I wish I would have known that when I was a kid. Fighting these snails when I was a kid was a nightmare. <laughs> both people, both runners making it through really well. Toad Man, pretty much one of the easier fights. Like Luke and Toad says, all he wants to do is dance. You can't blame the guy for that. Really good, uh, really good, uh, hey, Robos for Great John. 22, 26, it looked like. Yeah, Carter almost got soft locked. Yeah, you can get soft locked on that uh, second snail if you freeze too soon. You can uh, get soft locked, and you there's no turning back. You're gonna have to take a reset. Easiest fight in any Mega Man game? I'm pretty sure that was probably the easiest fight. Although there are some pretty easy fights out there in the Mega Man games, but I would have to say Toad Man is probably the easiest. Going into the castle stages, Cossack stage here. Uh, in stage one, there's a frozen E-tank off to the left. I wonder if Grave John will opt to slide over and take it or not, or if he'll just go through. Looks like he's just going through. He says, we don't need no stinking E-tank. We got this. We do it all the time. Got to get over these slinkies. These slinkies hit pretty hard for little metal slinkies. Ice physics are in effect. If you stop on the platform while the ice is on them, you you will slide. The only way to stop sliding is to do a little jump, and you won't slide no more. But it makes it a pain for this checkpoint room up here. Great John's going to use Flash Stopper, which makes this room a lot easier to negotiate. Don't have to really worry about those things coming up out of the pits. Don't really have to worry about the Skeleton Joes trying to bone you. Makes it pretty easy. Makes it through pretty easy. Carter, meanwhile, coming up to the checkpoint room. Let's see if... Oh, he's going to do buster strats here. Got to be careful with your movement here, because if you miss... Have one little miss, misstep in this screen, it's a death. Makes it through really nicely. Gets that little D... Uh, that uh, skeleton Joe to disappear there. Not bad, not bad. Carter making it through, no problem at all. Great John deciding to kill the squishy. Doesn't want to take a, too much health away because the moth can be kind of a pain. Great John doing a really good job at the ladder section there. 
Nice little swag bag to use. Don't be squishy, nice. I can never, I never really get that bag to use off the squishies, man. Not too bad of a fight for Great John, with you know this this fight, you know, it's got some small hitboxes, small pixel. The ring, the ring, uh, boomerang has this little small one pixel window hitbox, and then this little this moth has a really small little hitbox himself where his mouth is. So getting it in the right spot, it's gonna be close. Metal refight is easier. Yeah, one shot, one kill. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. The one shot, one kill metal refight. Yeah, that's pretty easy. All right. Great John taking the long way around, which is good. Smart, safe strats. Like I said, Great John's been really consistent through this entire run as far as doing really safe, consistent strats. You know, he wants to ensure that he, you know, gets through it with as much health as possible. You know, he, as little deaths as possible. You, you know, you have a few little missed up hiccups here and there, but all in all, Great John's doing some really good, safe strats. As you can tell, you start using these balloons with Carter Freak like Carter Freak did, you can have some a couple missteps and just take a death. Because it doesn't take much. That spike room doesn't take much. If you don't chain your slides right, you can just instant die on them spikes. It's really tricky. Gotta gotta swap between perfect slides and, and back debuts off those spikes. Spike dudes. To really chain your slides just right. There he goes. He's getting it now. He's got it now. There you go. There you go. There you go. Okay, he's got it. He went through it just fine that time. You're gonna take a back boost. Now these strats Carter is using it will have will you will be low health coming up to square machine like Great John is. You see the difference. Great John's got a lot more health to you have, whereas Carter Freak deciding to use the balloons to get the safe HP or get the safe health pot there. Not bad idea to grab it. I grab it still in my runs. It's really safe because man, square machine can wreck you. Decent. Okay, he got a three. It looked like he got a three three. Am I correcting saying Great John got a three three? I'm pretty sure he got a three three. Let's see what Carter gets. What I mean by three three is is Square Machine will come through the screen three times before he forms, or two times before he forms, or one time. Yes, it was three three. Ha ha! I knew it. Looks like Carter gets a three also. Now three two is the most common pattern. Whereas 1-1 one, one is the most rarest. It's like what? Like a 10 or 11% chance to get a 1-1? One, one? Well, it looks like Carter also got a 3-3. Three, three. Man, these runners are having similar runs right now. It's really cool to see this. They're both kind of on the same track. Carter using a little bit more riskier strats than Great John. Great John's, like I said, using a lot more safer strats. But both are having a great run either way. And you can see kind of how the difference in strats, you, either one you use, you kind of, you know, kind of have similar runs, you know, right now. You can see where some strats are a little bit faster, some strats may be a little bit slower. It's just depending on how you want to use, what you want to use, how comfortable you are with those strats. Great John in, in this auto scroller hill. There's really not much you can do to make this stage go faster because you're kind of at the mercy of the auto scroll but there's just small things you can do like you know uh, uh, get the get the turrets off screen and the Saturns off screen fast as you can get the platforms off uh, as fast as you can don't have a lot of extra shots uh, unwanted screen transition by great John there took a shot on that saw I've done that a few times Oh, it's a 1% chance. Why? I thought I, I said 11%, didn't I? It's a 1% chance. Thanks for the correction there, Sage. Appreciate that. You the man. Look at Toad in the house. What's up, look at Toad? <laughs> and these guys are doing a really good job. Great John coming up to about midway through this last screen here. Carter getting a nice, good squishy slide underneath them. Well, these 
these moving platforms can be tricky. There's sometimes where I've activated the next platform by accident, and it's <laughs> and then I had to do some backup strats because <laughs> it's a big gap. You can't make it by jumping over to the third one. Got to be careful. <laughs> Looks like Great John's gonna give me another heart attack. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he made it! Wow, I love I love seeing him do that, dude. He did that in the first round match, and it scared me half to death because I wasn't expecting it. I was a little bit more prepared this time, but damn, that's that's a scary, scary jump. Yeah, <laughs> main man. <laughs> this uh, this fight here is pretty scripted. It does the exact same thing over and over again. The only difference is whether or not the Cockroach will give you four little small bullets like that, or one big fat one. Great John getting through, not a problem. He says, I do this all the time. I do this all the time. You can make that fight go a little bit faster by uh, doing uh, having your charge shot above your head and killing the top one and shooting it down. And as the, as the shot goes downward, the second Cockroach will come into screen, just like Carter Freak just did and gets that first shot on that uh, cockroach with the same bullet. It's a two-for-one special, I call it. And that's a good by Carter Freak there. Good cockroach fight. Very well done. Oh, my nose itches. Uh, the more bullets that are on screen, the more lag it causes. Uh, so yeah, if if he, if he shoots those four bullets, it creates a little bit of on-screen lag. I don't think it's like a big, huge time loss, but I mean, there's some lag to it. Looks like uh, I think Great John took a feral refill there. Looks like Carter's gonna skip it because uh, he did that cockroach fight just perfectly, so where he should be feel comfortable with his feral. Uh, ammo, so he should be all right for the later stages. We'll see if he decides to take any ammo refill later or not, but he should be, have enough ammo for the Ringman refight and capsule. Meanwhile, Great John took that safety ammo, which I like. I said, man, he's doing a lot of good safety backup fight uh, strats. It's good to have that extra Pharaoh ammo for later on in the stage, just in case. You never, you never know. It's not a bad strat to do. I do it. Yeah, there, there you go, Barrel Rat. Sage says you guess me. It's about a one, one second difference. Now, great John on the Cossack fight here. In the American version, he will stay in one spot when the fight starts, just for a couple, couple shots. You could get two shots in before he starts moving. Now your slide, he will stop slide. Oh, he will stop moving if you slide. If you, he'll stop moving left or right, I should say. If you're, if you're sliding. Great John had a little trouble at the tail end, but he got him. Got him down. Carter Freak's getting him right now. Really close fights. This race is really close still. It's... It's the Giz Cossack down. Had to do a little bit of walking, but not bad. Alright, now we find out Dr. Wily is the main antagonist. Main protagonist. Main antagonist. I don't know. He's the bad guy. He's the guy everybody loves to hate. He smells like Virginia Slim's stale coffee and old man farts. So we're going into Wily 1. Wily 1's unique where every enemy in Wily 1 is a met. Whether it be small met, medium sized met, big met, or dancing met. I don't know. I don't know if there's any medium sized ones, but <laughs> I call the dancing ones medium because you gotta. Shoot him three times, the dancing ones. There you go. Shoot him three times compared to one time. Now this stage is really fun once you learn how to optimize the stage, optimize your movement, optimize everything, optimize lag reduction. It's a fun stage to do. You can really make it look really cool. Whereas the flip side, if you have a lot of these bullets on the screen, it could slow you down a little bit. It said lag reduction is the name of the game and this in a lot of these stages. Now you're in the toilet section. Great, John. I think it is where these underwater rules are in effect here. You gotta be careful. Don't wanna land on some spikes. And he makes it through. Not a pro. Oh, he's gotta be careful. Don't. No, no, no. No, okay. Woo, that, that scares me all the time. 
Because that, uh, you know, you can come back from your selecting your uh, rush jet there on that ladder and take a death if you're not careful. Gotta be careful. It always scares me. That's why I always try to select uh, select jet before I jump up on a ladder like Carter did. Man, that scares me. I've died there way too many times by selecting rush jet on the ladder. It's like great John's going into his Met Daddy fight. Met Daddy could uh, jump big, jump small, open late, or open soon. It's kind of really up to him. You, what you want to do is you want to take that D boost off those smaller Mets, slide through to the opposite side of Met Daddy, get him knocked down. If you have enough, if you do enough uh, shots on him each cycle, you can get him down in three cycles. Sometimes you have to do four. No big deal. But getting five, or getting three, obviously a lot faster. Carter's got to be careful here. Med Daddy hits like a truck. Okay, he makes it. Okay, he gets through. Woo! I had me worried. I didn't think. I thought Metal Daddy was going to jump on him. Dude. All right. Now on to my favorite Wily stage, Wily 2. The rush jet stage. You're gonna see a lot of rush jet action here, and basically uh, through the stage, you're just gonna call them down just so you can start using Buster. Because the only way you can use Buster while uh, Jet is active is you uh, you have to spawn them and then you shoot. So you gotta be you gotta be wary of that because you can't start shooting until he's on screen. Once Jet's on screen, then you can start shooting. But he comes in handy with these jumps, or these gaps right here. Gotta be, oh, Great John scared me to death right there because he was on the back end of Jet. If Jet would have nosed up to the wall before Great John got to the ladder, Jet would have disappeared and Great John would have been down in a hole. But he makes it, makes the ladder grab, no problem. Coming into the checkpoint room now for both of them. Both runners are super close right now. Yeah, very great race. Very, very great race indeed. Yeah, yeah, I agree, Monkey. It could come down to Drill Dust RNG. You're right about that. Alright, coming through these little... Little roly-polies, I like to call them. Ooh, looks like Carter Freak just snuck in a little bit of a lead there. Did you see that? Ha ha ha! Just kind of snuck it up on us. He just snuck, snuck up and took the lead. That was sneaky. That corner jump, though, man. <laughs> now you see him switching to the rain flush here. You jump in, you shoot a rain flush shot, and it skips a life fill animation. He's gonna switch to looks like ring here and knock him down really quick. What you, what you can't do like Great John's doing is shoot a drill shot that disables this hitbox, and you can stand behind him and just kind of shoot him without worrying about getting hit like Carter Freak did. But man, it's still a uh, still a really close race. Carter took a slight edge because that that strat Carter did is a little bit faster than the way Great John did it. But it's still still really good. Like I said, very consistent runs by both using some really unique strats. All right, here we go into refight section. Looks like Carter. He's going to opt to take both ring ammos, which is a good idea. I always like to take both of them, too. Looks like Great John's going to take a safety E-Tank, too. Nice. Good call. Good call. Make sure that drill ammos are filled up, because our dust ammo is filled up. You're going to need it. You're going to need that dust ammo. Looks like... Okay, it looks like they both got plenty of ammo now. Should be feeling pretty comfortable with the refines, as long as... Uh, Carter just doesn't mess up anything with his ring fight. He should have plenty of enough ammo for the capsule. Great John's got plenty of ferro for the capsule, so I think they're in a good, safe spot for their uh, refights and capsule fight as far as ammo is concerned. Ferro's being a little bit of a jumpy tool for Carter right off the gate. Oh man, Carter's got to be careful. Don't want to shoot too many uh, dust shots without connecting because. You still need about five five shots of dust for uh, Skull, I think it is. 
Okay, the great job makes it through pretty easy. Looks like they both have plenty of ammo for uh, Skullman. Oh, Skullman giving Carter a, a really crappy shield there. Oh, and he gave Great John a crappy shield too. Oh my god. <laughs> this race. What is this race right now? <laughs> They're both getting very similar RNG throughout the whole race. It's amazing. They got the same freaking square machine RNG. They got the same drill man RNG. It's crazy. There you go with Carter. Use uh, Carter and Great John using Skull Shield on this on um, Bright Man. You want to shoot him with five Skull Shield shots to get his health values in the right position. Then the rest Toad Man or uh, Rain Flush shots, which Rain Flush is actual Bright Man's actual weakness here. But if you don't get that odd number of Skull Shields, it can offset his health value and he'll start freezing you. So you gotta make sure you get an odd number of health uh, Skull Shield shots on Bright. Use that one extra rain flush to get that one HP drill. See what kind of luck Carter gets. Oh, insta dive, nice. Yeah, Carter living dangerously here. <laughs> so far, just one, one for uh, Carter. There we go. Not bad. Look like two for Great John. Oh, wow, okay. So a little bit more of a separation here. Drill Man was the difference. Drill Man fight kind of put a little separation between them. But it's still pretty darn close, if you ask me. Almost about one uh, boss fight away from each other. Carter doing a really nice Ring Man refight. Very well done. Optimize his Pharaoh ammo so he has plenty to deal with Capsule. As long as he doesn't miss any shots on Capsule, he should have a good Capsule fight. Also, a good ringman for uh, Great John. Had to do a little bit of backup stress there, but he got him. Good Dust by Carter. Let's see what, how Dust does here. Really good dust for Great John too. Wow! Now here we are with Why the Machine, everybody's favorite noise. <laughs> what you, what you want to do is you want to use that that ring boomerang to get him down to one HP in phase one, and like you see here, switch the drill, get that shot, and it uh, skips the life fill animation, and you do extra damage on the next one. Either that or whenever his life fill fills up, it doesn't fill up all the way because of that drill shot. Either one, it's it's like, either one you start off with lesser health, so you're, you get him down pretty quickly. And the explosion is what does the damage here, not the actual drill itself. The drill itself will just dink off his nose. You gotta make sure you explode that explosion, that drill shot explosion, right before he hits. They both make it out really close. I mean, they're really close behind each other, man. Both going in. This is where it's going to take place. This is all comes down to this, folks. It all comes down to this. What kind of RNG placement is, is Capsule going to spawn in the right places? Are they going to get double shots? What's going to happen here? Nobody can tell until it happens. That was a good hallway for Carter. Let's see what kind of hallway Great John does. Hopefully he does a really good hallway and can catch up. Oh, got, got one shot for Carter. Oh, two shots. Okay. Gotta be careful. Oh, no. Oh, getting some uh, some hinky uh, slides here. Oh, great job, Mr. Double Shot. Oh, yeah. Oh, he got the double shot. Oh. Oh, can he get it? Oh, just missed it. Oh, it comes down at last shot. Oh, great job. <laughs> Great John takes the win! Wow! Right at the last second. Oh, man. Woo! Looks like Carter is out of Pharaoh, and he's going to have to switch the ring. The ring is the only other weakness for Capsule right here. I want Buster's not going to do it. 
He may have to take a death. Yep, he's gonna take a death. Oh man, Carter running out of Pharaoh. Caught, makes great John. Great even before he ran out of Pharaoh, Great John snuck that win out. That's a really good job, Great John. He moves on in the tournament in very, very good style. Looks like Carter's gonna take a game over here, which is smart. Because these caterpillars are little a-holes and they won't drop ammo when you need it. So the fastest way to get through here is take a game over, come back with full ammo, finish the job. I like I like ca that Carter's doing this because you can spend all day long, you can spend minutes in this section trying to farm ammo and nothing will drop. So you gotta, got I always say, take a game over, take a game over. Good job, good job. That should, he might have to do one more. Okay, he got it, okay. So he's gonna come in here with full ammo. He shouldn't have any worries now. Is he gonna finish it out or is he gonna... I don't know, he might have forfeited here. Nope, he's gonna keep going. He's gonna keep going, gonna finish it out here. He's right here at the end. Chell always insists that using a weapon makes them drop more ammo, but it, I don't know if that's ever really been tested. I don't know either. All I know is, man, when you need it, they won't drop it. <laughs> oh, Carter, Carter getting some bad luck by Capsule here. In a down, down lower left corner, kind of a crappy position for Capsule to be in. There we go. Got, got another shot. He just needs two more shots and he's got this. One more. There he goes. GG's, Carter. GG. Wow. Very well done. Very well done by both runners. Give these guys all your GG's. Make sure you go follow Great John and Carter Freak. They are some really good runners. Man, they have come, in, come so far in this in such a short time to get ready for this tournament. They did a really good job. Man, that was awesome. That was such an entertaining race. Very, very well done. A lot of back and forth. Like I said, a lot of good, consistent strats there. <laughs> Carter, Carter Freak with the, with the, the most famous uh, speedrunner quote of all time, screw this game. That's, I think I've said that about 90 times per stream. So, GG's, Carter. Good G GG's, Great John. You guys did a really good, so close to the end, Great John. You guys had me on the edge of my seat. I'm so happy for you. Like I said, great, great John moving on in the tournament. And he will face either the winner of Stunt Rooster or Resisting Frame. Uh, that match is going to be coming up uh, Sunday, I believe. So uh, keep an eye out. Also, we got Mr. Otter versus Venez Prince and Jorge versus Waiter coming up a little later in the week, too. So there's plenty of Mega Man action yet to come. Also, keep in mind, Colonel Fatso and, uh, oh, crap, can't remember, god dang it, <laughs> can't, I'm, I'm drawing a blank here, ah, Colonel Fatso's going up against the Knight, let me see here, I got Soren, thank you, I man, I drew a blank, man, <laughs> had a brain fart there, Soren and Colonel Fatso coming tonight at, at 10 p.m. Eastern, make sure you guys check it out. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mr. K. I, I drew a break. I had a brain fart. I'm like, uh, what? What am I thinking here? <laughs> good, good job by both runners. Ha and I'm Iraq Vet signing off. Wishing you guys the best, and I'll catch you guys a little later for some more runs. Thanks, everybody.